In Rise to Glory, players compete to earn the most glory. There are many ways to earn glory in the game. By researching technologies or conquering cities. By creating great artworks or hosting civilization's great icons like Marie Curie and Nelson Mandela. By building world wonders and launching a starship to explore new worlds. To earn all this glory, you'll need two things. You'll need gold to build units and expand your realm. And you'll need commerce to research technologies and purchase great artworks. Gold is basically your tax revenue. The more population you have, the more gold you can generate. But you'll also need infrastructure to support that population. So the more buildings you have, the more gold you can generate. Commerce is like your GDP, and it comes from two sources. Your trading fleet and the number of different resources you have access to. There are 15 resources in the game, 10 of which appear from the get-go, like horses and wine, and others, like coal and oil, that only appear later in the game. You can gain access to resources by building cities on lands that contain them, or by trading with other players who have the resources you need. You'll also need resources to recruit certain types of units. For example, to recruit cavalry, you'll need horses at the beginning of the game, but you'll need oil at the end. There are seven units in the game. Scouts, infantry, cavalry, artillery, ships, and, later, aircraft and nuclear missiles.